know Nick, you know that he is adventurous. You know that he is servant-hearted. He's a guy who is quick to roll up his sleeves and help you out. Liz's adventurousness. She is compassionate. She is organized. She put an itinerary together for this weekend that is amazing down to the minute. She is a connector of people and she has a heart for people. For as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to follow in her footsteps. Liz and I were in the garage playing catch. And by catch, what I really mean is I had a glove on my hand and was holding it out, and Liz was tossing it over and over again, trying to get it to land in my glove. Um, and I remember the moment that the ball finally stuck in my glove. Liz was like ecstatic for me. And I just had this like warm feeling of pride wash over me. And I think it was from that moment on that I just wanted to do absolutely everything that Liz could do. Because arguably one of Liz's best personality traits is that when she loves something, she doesn't want to keep it to herself. She wants to share it with the people that she loves the most. So that's how I, when I met Nick, I knew that he and Liz would be a great match. Liz and Nick's many years of friendship has created a perfect foundation for a marriage. Liz has found someone that she can laugh with, cry with, someone she can truly be herself with. She doesn't have to compromise or hold back her yearning for adventure because Nick's someone who will go on that adventure with her. He's one of the best people that I know and got the pleasure of growing up with. When we were younger, we used to go to a daycare center and there was a guy there who was kind of picking on me. He was in my face. And my brother, he walked into the room, threw him up against the wall and told him off. It was great. Great for me, anyway. Not for him. I knew that my brother had my back. holding her, her hand as we walked through the Berea Fair. She was maybe four or five years old. Something that totally captivated Liz. A portable climbing wall. <laughs> Liz was absolutely fixated on it. She begged and pleaded with me. She said, Daddy, I can do this. When she doesn't need my help, she asks, and I'm always there to help, no matter what. Yes, Liz, you can do this. You always have, and you always will.
how should you love your wife? It says, as Christ loved the church, that ultimately he gave up his life because he loved us so much. You're about to say, Nick, in a nutshell, that your life, now the number one person in your life is Liz, above yourself. And Liz, the number one person in your life, is going to be Nick, above your own self, that you are putting each other ahead of your own desires. Maybe a lot of you know this, they were born on the same day. I don't mean they just share the same birthday, I mean the exact same day. Five hours older, Liz is five hours older. Uh, a few years ago, they were baptized on the same day. They like to go climbing together. They like climbing so much that they got an amphitheater that you need to climb out of here today <laughs> when you are ready to leave. Every marriage goes through mountaintops, but I'm sure it's no shocker to you that there is going to be valley experiences. Every marriage has that, mountaintops and valleys. But when you do, and I say that, look back and remember this day, this beautiful sunny day when you promised to each other, I'm putting you first, I'm committing to you. Even in the valleys when you're not feeling the warm, fuzzy feelings, even in the valleys when you're not maybe feeling it for each other, that you have said, I've committed before God and before these witnesses, committed to Nick, committed to Liz. And when you go through the valley, you have someone to look to, and that is Jesus Christ, whom you can rely on, who went through the valley for us, and that he is with us. Liz, I have chosen you to be my wife. It is with you I will always live according to the word of God. Nick, I have chosen you to be my husband. I will live with you always according to the word of God. I thank God for the special gift that you are to me. I thank God for the special gift that you are to me. I promise to help and encourage you. I promise to help and encourage you with your spiritual and physical needs through all the changes of our lives. Through all the changes of our lives. I will be there for you always, as strength in need, a comfort in sorrow, a counselor in difficulty, and a companion in joy. I am delighted to be in God's will with you, and I ask him for strength and guidance to be a faithful and loving husband to you, as long as we both shall live. As a symbol of this commitment, I give you this ring. for you always, a strength in need, a comfort in sorrow, a counselor in difficulty, and a companion in joy. I am delighted to be in God's will with you, and I ask him for strength and guidance to be a faithful and loving wife to you, as long as we both shall live. As a symbol of this commitment, I give you this ring. I pronounce that they are husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Nick, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas and Liz Fackaday. He's always had uh, my bag. He's always been there for me when I needed him. And I know 
for sure that you're gonna always look out for Liz too. Speaking of Liz, I'd like to officially start by welcoming you to the family. So welcome. You fit right in from the very beginning. You've been incredibly kind, and you care for people in the same way that my brother always has. Uh, you also happen to be the only person that's crazy enough to put up with my brother on a daily basis. And I think that it's also amazing how you guys go on so many different adventures together. I want to just say that I, I love the both of you guys very much, and I, I wish you the absolute best. Congratulations to the marriage and to a lifetime of new adventures together. I'd like to raise a glass to Liz and Nick. Liz, I've never given you enough credit for molding me into the person that I am today. Nick, thank you for making my sister the happiest that I've ever seen her. As many of you know, Liz and Nick have been friends for quite some time and insisted it was nothing more. <laughs> One word I would use to describe Liz is brave. Growing up, I always thought she was so brave with her snowboarding and rollerblading and ripstick tricks. <laughs> Even when she fell down and got hurt, she would get right back up and try again. Bravery is not the absence of fear, but doing something in spite of it. I think when Liz started dating was when she had to step out of her comfort zone and be brave. She had to share her emotions with another human being. <laughs> To love Nick was to put that friendship at risk, to open herself up to the possibility of heartbreak. She took a chance, they took a chance on each other, and I am so glad they did. I wish you two all the happiness in the world as you journey through life together. To Liz and Nick. I hope you. Liz, welcome to the family. Your husband has given you the most awesome gift, the same gift I gave my wife. Awesome, fantastic, incredible in-laws. That's what he's giving you. I want to thank everybody for coming tonight. I watched in wonder as my baby girl grew up and transformed into the amazing young woman you see here today. I was privileged to walk her down the aisle to marry the man she has chosen who will love, cherish, and protect her as I have throughout her whole life. And Nick, it's a job I very much recommend. <laughs> Every parent knows the look of love in their child's eyes. When I see Nick and Liz together, I see that look in her eyes. When you truly love someone, you love and respect the people they love. And that's certainly the case with Nick. So Nick, welcome to our family. I want to propose a toast. God bless you on this great adventure that you're going on for the rest of your life. We love you both, and we're always here for you. All the love you. All the oh, can't you tell? Neath the temp and he swells and heartstrings. There's a place deep in our hearts where it matters. We can stay there forever and after. Written in stars right above where we are I hope you don't mind If I say that I love you 